Many thanks indeed, Excellencies. Ladies and gentlemen, let me first thank the government of France, the government of Germany, for, um, for the government of France for this extraordinary initiative, 4, 000, 4 per, for, per thousand, which was launched in uh, COP21. Comme a dit Monsieur le Ministre, son Excellence Stéphane Travers, il a dit sans son, il n'y a, a pas de l'agriculture. Moi, avec votre permission, je vais ajouter un petit point. Sans biodiversité des sols, il n'y a pas d'agriculture aussi. Et peut-être c'est ça notre but dans les UICN pour um, to work between these two fields. And our on-ramp is, in a way, um, the, the words that soil biodiversity and soil organic carbon, that's a magic that makes food, that makes climate, that makes potential, that makes livelihood. That's the story that we bring to this initiative. And soil biodiversity and soil organic carbon contribute trillions to ecosystem services uh, every year with the support of AFD. IUCN will be coming out with a report at the end of the year that explores these issues. And we are very much looking forward to sharing that with this audience because it is the soil biodiversity and the soil carbon together that supports food production, water, nutrient cycling, etc., that we just heard in that excellent expose by Professor Ratan Lal. So we have these three messages, soil biodiversity and soil organic carbon, you can't separate them. And the second message is, well, we are faced with a very critical situation. We know that since the Industrial Revolution, about 60% of all soil, uh, soil carbon has been lost. So 60% since the Industrial Revolution, these are big numbers. We know that about one-fifth of the world's population works on degraded soils. And we know that erosion in arable and intensively grazed land is about 100 to 1,000 times higher than the natural erosion rates. The third message, though, and last, is that there's very encouraging news. Um, we saw recently in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences a publication which IUCN's chief economist contributed to, which spoke about natural climate solutions, especially improved land stewardship, that can provide over one-third of the cost-effective climate mitigation needed between now and 2030. And that is why this initiative matters so much. Uh, because these co-benefits that it generates, benefits for agricultural productivity, gen benefits for water fil filtration, benefits for flood buffering, soil health, and of course, biodiversity. And grasslands and agricultural pathways offers 20% of the natural climate solutions to help us stay below the two degrees. So let me just conclude by thanking again the French government and by reassuring and telling everyone that we from IUCN, we are so delighted about this initiative and we will do our bit to make sure that it also reverberates inside the environment movement. Merci beaucoup à tous. Merci, Monsieur Luc.